Good morning, so today is Thursday. It's almost eight o'clock right now, and I just wanna do a little bottle update. You guys know if you guys have been watching my vlogs that I am trying to retrain my baby to drink milk from a bottle. So yesterday was a really good day. I'm almost too scared to even say anything just because I don't wanna jinx myself, but yesterday she drank all her milk, did not fight at all and I'm so proud of her. I think she's kind of getting like the idea of it. At first I was only giving her an ounce because she like wouldn't even finish an ounce but I started giving her two ounces and whenever she eats like she kind of has to take a break in between her feedings and but um she finished her bottle and um during her afternoon feed I gave her a bottle and I nursed her too because she woke up and um Whenever she nurses only, she does nurse for a pretty long time. I've noticed that she's much happier when she has like a full belly. Like she just seems very active and very smiley. I'm not gonna go anywhere today. I usually like to stay home every few days to kind of give my daughter a break from being out and just being around like a lot of commotions so that she can just relax and not have to worry about like so much stuff, even though <laughs> I don't know if she's worried or I'm worried. You guys, so my daughter just finished her first bottle of the day. I gave her three ounces and oh my gosh, I am so proud of her. I am so happy at the same time. I'm like very sad too, but it's a good sign. I know she still like likes to nurse, so I'm gonna wash her bottle and then pour the next feeding in here so that way I have it ready. There's about like an ounce left in this one, but I'll just pump more and then add to it so that way she can drink it. But her next bottle is ready for her when she's hungry. She's so cute. Yesterday her dad was feeding her and she saw me and she only wanted to look at me while eating. It is almost four o'clock and I have not vlogged for the past few days because honestly, I just feel like everything is really repetitive and I know watching the same thing over and over gets very boring. I started a Notion planner. I signed up a while back but it was just so confusing that I didn't even know how to use it so I was like you know what screw it. I'm not gonna even touch it but I've been playing with that and it's like so much fun. I'm able to like plan everything on there. I love websites that allow you to really just get creative and kind of do whatever you want. I think that's like the most fun, kind of like YouTube, you know. What I wanted to share was I bought a hands-free pump. I cannot pronounce the brand of this, but it's an S12 wearable breast pump. And um, I just want to show you guys what it looks like. I still need to wash it. I haven't used it yet. And I really like my Spectra breast pump. The one I have is the blue one where it's like portable and you charge it, but you're not like glued onto the wall to use it. I bought it and it looks like this and I got the color in pink because this is the one that came with the 21 mm and 24 mm I need to wash it I have no idea how to use this like I don't even know how to take this apart but hopefully it's not too difficult so it comes off like this how am I supposed to even get this off or is it even supposed to come off I should probably read the instructions. I'm really bad at like actually reading what the hell I'm supposed to do. Okay, so it does come off. I just have to know how to take it off. Okay, it just pops off, cool. I was scared that I was gonna break it. I'm trying out the pump right now on one side. You guys can probably hear it. It is pretty loud, like obviously they're gonna be able to tell that you're pumping. Good morning everyone, it is 8.07 right now and my daughter's been up for about like 30 minutes now. This past weekend I was talking to my husband about how she isn't like really talking yet, like baby talk and 
I was a little concerned like I wasn't sure if she was gonna be able to talk but just a couple of days ago she started baby talking I noticed that so I've been recording her and it's like the cutest thing and um, she's been doing nothing but yell at me when she's upset all day so she does this thing where she like swings her arm around like she's like full-on swinging it she always hits me on my chest and oh my gosh it hurts too huh you need to stop hitting mommy she's not talking right now anymore. bless you bless you she sneezes just like her dad she always has to sneeze like twice that's what he does too my daughter is sleeping it is 9 13 right now so this is usually when i eat like breakfast i'm trying out this cup noodle stir fry um thai yellow curry I usually take this time to like edit. I try to catch up on my YouTube videos and search up like new YouTubers to watch. When I first started YouTube, I always would watch people who had like hundreds and thousands of subscribers. And if they didn't have a lot, like I didn't want to subscribe to them. But now I'm like the complete opposite. I love looking for YouTubers that actually have a small count of subscribers because they're just like me. We're just doing it because we enjoy doing it. Not to say that it's more authentic, but I just... I feel like I could just relate to them more. She's getting so strong with her tummy time. So I bought this book from Costco. It's a See Touch Tummy Time book. And um, it's really cool. The mirror is like her favorite. She loves looking at herself. And um, it opens up like this. Super cool. I, I believe this book was $7.99 at Costco. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday. It's 8.24. I am starting my day off by making some namba for my husband later. And... I'm gonna boil some tapioca. I just got back from the store and oh my gosh, today is so freaking hot. I was literally sweating and my poor baby was also sweating in her car seat. It's like 98 or 99 degrees today and this is why I don't go anywhere during the day because it's just way too hot and I don't want to take her out in that heat because it's just gonna be miserable for her. I spent exactly $61.61. .61. I bought two bottles of my Thai coffee that I've been drinking. I made some namba this morning and on a hot day like this, it is the best dessert to eat. I bought two jars of these coconut cubes and I just started putting this in my tricolor. I got three cans of coconut milk and I won't use all of it for tricolor. I just like to have some on hand whenever I make kabong. The main reason why I went to the store was to get some green IU jelly. This is a different brand from what I usually buy, but then she didn't have the one that I typically like to buy. And this is by the Honeybee brand. I got some ginger. I bought a papaya as well. I wasn't going to, but then I'll make it next week when I have like a week to like ripen. She has some snow peas, so I bought some. I think it was like five something. And I got some of this chicken seasoning powder. I see a lot of people, like Hmong people use this or like the pork one and I've never used it before. So I wanted to try it out. She also had two Vietnamese sandwiches that she bought from Seattle. So I picked up the last two that she had and I'll wait until my husband gets home for us to enjoy it together. baby pop-up store that is open downtown so I really want to go and see if they have any cute things for baby and hopefully it's not too pricey but we're gonna go to the mall first and then work our way down to the store I just left the little pop-up shop and I got some stuff for baby I did buy some bigger sizes because eventually she'll grow into them and I got some of uh, um, Jamie K it's an Australian brand which I've never heard of until my sister told me about it just a couple days ago and we're gonna head back to the mall it's starting to get hot, so I really want to get a bubble tea drink and just look around, see if there's anything. <laughs> 